Yeah, hello everybody! This is Olga. I'm streaming online from my studio in Ontario, Canada. We have rainy days, so my weekend passed. Staying at home, I went for a walk with umbrella because it's rainy. And actually it helps to, you know, calm down. There is a lot of stuff happening right now. Um, I'm preparing for spring enrollment to my online classes. I'm working for content for the wheel season to a lot of stuff. But during this weekend, I just let myself to calm down and enjoy the weekend, enjoy the weather. And yes, yeah, stay at home and spend time with my family. Canada is on quarantine right now. So we lock, lock down everything closed and we should stay at home so and i'm glad i have this little time spent with you my wonderful artist friends all over the world and we can throw out of the window all the problems and simply paint and enjoy time spending with paints brushes watercolors and fluffy cuties flowers and today I'm gonna to yes we, we carry we stay at home since maybe 12 or 30 30 13 of March when everything happened begin begun Jonna I hope you will have a wonderful connection or we will catch up on the replay fingers crossed everything is fine so let me know in the chat, did you think about your art and does this lockdown and does this time help you to think about your life, your art journey, what thoughts uh, you have about this? I'm, I'm interested. For me, I'm so busy right now, you know, and for sure I painted, actually I painted this Gaidranger, this one here. And I have thoughts like, I paint them the same way, so I want my art, I want each time I paint. When I took a new white piece of paper, I want it to look different. So when I painted this Gaidranger here, and when I revised paintings, I thought that, yes, they are beautiful, they are atmospheric, wonderful paintings, but I want something different. I want to go forward. I don't want um, to stay at the same point. I want to improve. I want to change something. And I need some hint of adventure, curiosity on my paintings. So I discovered that while I'm, I was painting for myself, not for courses, not for painting afternoons. Anne Catherine tried crocuses. <laughs> yes, I, I saw paintings you uploaded in our group. Wonderful, thank you. Nice to hear that. So you 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 turn on your artist batteries. You turn on your artist sparkle. I love to see that. As you can see, uh, this area is loosed. So I need to define some shapes and I wanted to show you that you can actually when paint elegant fine line of a waist and I can paint negative shape instead of painting a positive. So I hide this in purpose and show you that I paint a vase. So I can edit at the background. And kind of grass. Maybe go deep in some places. <laughs> it's so it's so bold. And 
this one here also another negative shape and I'm ready to go through the I can't wait to share with you the next subject which is roses what I like about loose style of painting is that you uh, the parts you don't know how to develop you're not confident with you can just skip them and you know don't paint <laughs> use tricks your brush like this very simple funny I don't want to stay long on this one I like the simplicity and spontaneous feeling in this chapter I wanted to talk with you about illusions and what I love about loose style of painting by practicing regularly and revising your spontaneous washes you can find something interesting kind of illusions and you can ask a question for yourself oh I love this color combination or I love this interesting area on a painting hmm where I can use this and this gave the food to my mind during the day how I can use those and what and you know, I found uh, this is the most beneficial time spent and the ideas which pop in during the day. They are wonderful. They make me want to run to my easel and paint and to implement those ideas. Another thing what I found about loose style of painting, you shouldn't paint everything as I showed you for the rabbit uh, in previous chapter you can keep things loose you don't tell everything you see this is a rabbit it's fine and this uh, actually I love to use this for the flowers for leaves sections I know many artists love to paint flowers but they give up and not so enthusiastic when it comes to paint leaves and floral and around the main bloom and I found then a lot of talking I don't like talking I like to show rather than talk about it and here you can see this is mm, second wash <coughs> unfinished piece and here I wanted to show you that um, actually you shouldn't paint everything because of an illusion when you look at the painting in a distance you can capture and portray what you want to say with the less details this area here it reminds me about a window at the background i paint these dog roses from the photographs from my garden in belarus i'm originally from belarus and this is our building or uh, in our garden and this is a window it, and it's very blue like in a fog because it's in a distance I shouldn't tell a lot of details about it I just enjoy color palette I have a wonderful blue gamma here and I just enjoy and want to pick everything in, into uh, and bring every single color into this little window which is not actually a, a subject of a painting Maybe wash it away, it's too detailed. I don't want this. I want it more loose. Bricks. Simple. And wash it away. With less touches. 
with limited brush strokes. See it? And I can keep doing and develop each and every one if I need to, if I have a wish. Wonderful green. Yeah, let's talk about colors. Before I start to paint, I want to see what greens I can achieve with my palette. And I have this lemony, what if I add it on top? Or with indigo, what green I can achieve with it? Or yellow. What if I add yellow? What green I can have? Or orange. So spend time by experimenting, mixing colors and you can achieve the most of the exciting greens for your paintings. Yeah, you can apply defined brush marks or keep them loose. You can wash them away like I showed here. You can paint and wash them away later. This is up to you and this is an open adventure. I took my brush, I hold it at the very end to loosen it up and not worry about um, you know, how to be perfect, which line to apply and how to do that. You're not responsible since then. Because you apply, you're not determined, you're um, not so controlled. Okay, so this section here I wanted to show you how to create loose and spontaneous leaves section. Not applying too much details, not trying too hard. Maybe apply a clean wrap on top and see and see how it how it works for you. Like this. So as you can see I jump from one area to another and keep develop just one little definition make step back and see am i satisfied or not listen a painting so take your time to li just to listen a painting I like those spontaneous washes and seem so effortless result. Here I can turn this into a leaf. Define one. And as you can see, I'm not trying hard, I'm not, I don't apply too many details, I'm not worried how it looks like, because in the distance, when I make step back and look at this painting, look at these dog roses in my garden, yes, I see them, this is my building, my garden and my dog rose. Am I need to say and to paint every single leaf? And again, paint not everything. I need something just to start on. And later I will think about all of those details and
stuff. I want to have a few buds. They are here and this is fine. Maybe stems like that. For leaves, leaves, illusions. So this topic is about illusions and I wanted to tell you that to create an illusion you don't need to have perfect photograph or explore your subject deep. You just need to explore your washes and spend time by thinking where I can use this, where I can use that. And actually here I showed you that you don't need to spend too much time on capturing the essence of some parts of your subjects. Just go ahead, you have an idea, I want leaves here and let your brush to dance. Just a few brush marks. This is loose style of painting. You shouldn't paint everything. This is enough. When you look at this painting in the distance, it's already here, this part. I don't want to pay too much attention into it. I'm guilty, I can't stop. I can't stop, I want to jump into next area. I, I started to think about this area, how to turn this into something. So I started from this, then I move here, there, then I appear and found myself completely loosed in this area. And right now I turn on, I can't stop, I want to keep developing this painting. But I know the key. Once you have this wonderful feeling, it means that you should stop. I have a chapter in Wheel Season 2 where I talk about the map. I already showed you and talked about the map in previous painting afternoon and what's it all about. And this one, this butterfly painting here, is about map. So map, if, if to say quickly, is you decide the areas to pay the most attention to. You develop them, you think how to develop them, and the other areas, you don't think about them. You just concentrate it on the main focal point, like a map. You draw a map and follow the guide. You know the points, the main points you are going to follow, and you are not distracted about all the other stuff out of your map. People love my technical background and how I interpret and explain how I paint. And actually there are there is a guideline you can rely on. There is a formula you, which you can learn. There are many ways where you can pick in your favorite which suits you. And each time you paint you have a guide in your head. I want to say more with this but just a few brush marks yeah it's wonderful because you shouldn't be a master in painting you can start at any level I have many tutorials for beginners very simple if you have zero experience with watercolors as well as advanced and even professionals could find a treasure because we are all different and <clears throat> I have many ideas during paintings especially when I paint together with you ideas flying in the air and sometimes my idea there are so many ideas and insights during demonstrations so I can even touch the air it's so hard and heavy with the content so I love to share my ideas uh, in my classes and tutorials so I know after I finish this session I will sit down and make my homework and I will write down all the insights which came and it might be the base for future, for season three, for example, for future tutorials. So this is wonderful circle. I gave the information. 
I give it away and rapidly I filled up with new ideas. This is how it works for me. This is why I love teaching. Oh, I have another idea. Just popping in my imagination right now. What if I splatter here? Which pink to choose? I have beautiful, I have many pinks in my uh, palette. So I think maybe this one, this pink. This is a winner pink. No matter where to use it, I feel like it's wonderful. I want to, I want to show you it. Yeah. Oh, so cute expression. And I don't paint it. I use watercolor technique. If you watched my course Watercolor Treasure Chest, you could see a collection of my favorite watercolor techniques. Jump to another object if you have and a rabbit. Let me know what's your favorite. Butterfly, dog rose or, or a rabbit. I'm excited to know. Dolores, love how you developed the rose painting. Love the rabbit also. This one here. Good. All three, Anne Catherine. <laughs> have something to like. From the rose, the way you just make it appear from some light brush strokes. Yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to show you how to do that, not to try too hard and, you know, have pressure on your shoulder, how, how to do that. I'm glad you get it. You got it. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. The Roses, Christy. Granulation, Julie. Julie, you asked about granulation effect. This is a technique I called creating by destroying. You can watch my course Watercolor Treasure Chest, day number seven, about creating by destroying. And you can see how this granulation appear on different pigments, especially heavy ones, which are lazy and don't want to flow without a water and see which one gives you this granulation effect. Okay, I might show you, showed you tomorrow my not favorite green and how it, let's see how it, um, how it works in practice. Not talking, showing. Fran, you mean about um, this one here? Yes, this is a tutorial actually, and it will be included in the season two with list of materials, photograph, explanations from white, white piece of paper to the very end and stuff. Yes, it is. It's included. All three paintings gorgeous, say Shayla. Th thank you, Shayla. Yeah, this is actually it. I hope you enjoy today's painting afternoon. Stay strong, keep your sparkle on, paint and explode positive energy. It's needed. Okay, and yeah, this was it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.